Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Saturn HDZ here, bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. But before we do anything else, make sure you drop a like in today's video. Let's try to break at least 20 likes on today's video. And also subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I know there's many people are watching my videos but they ain't subscribing. So hit that like button and hit those subscribe buttons and post notifications on right now. Do it right now before we get into the video. And yeah guys. Well, I'm gonna pause for a second so you guys could actually like the video. Alright guys, let's get back into it. So what the, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys is uh, almost a 300 kill gameplay by myself. The solo spawn trap, basically the solo spawn trap for me. Um, I was just going off, basically this this game right here was pretty crazy. I dropped 294 kills. Uh, it was pretty insane. I was just picking off kids. I felt like it was, it was the right lobby. Um, teammates were cooperating so they knew what I was trying to do actually we dropped 200 kill games we dropped 200 plus kills me and a different guy but the other guy was also solo so it was basically 500 kills or more between me and him so it was crazy guys I was just basically trying to hold on this house right house right here because I wasn't trying to push too much because if I was pushing too much teammates would have pushed more so, um, with that said, teammates would have just kept going forward, and I would have just probably lost my my spot on on this. And I some and I don't know how that guy even killed me. To be honest, that guy um probably went through the le right side because man, there was nobody right side watching. So probably he went through there and killed me. Imagine that guy would have killed me, dude. There were so many situations in this game where I could have just got. So many kills, but choke. I just choked with the scythe. I was just choking. Like one kill was off kill streaks. It was crazy, guys. Imagine if I would have got all those kill streaks up in here, it would have been insane. Probably would have been more than 300 kills. Um, and guys, um, if you guys want to learn how to do solo spawn trap before this game was over, let me know. I could just show you guys how to do it here on Nukecon. Very easy. I'll tell you guys right now. Matter of fact. So. So what I was running here was I was running the Reaper. The scythe is very easy to get kills with. It's a two shot machine kill. So basically what you guys have to do is just don't push too much into the spawn if you're gonna play solo. Try to just try to get kill streaks before you're pushing up. As long as you get kill streaks, try to have like some kill streaks like uh, some powerful kill streaks such as the Thresher and the Strike Team because these two type of kill streaks will help you spawn trap. If they're trying to push up, they will kill them in the mid map. But so by the time, so by the time they kill them, you're already killing the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. And it's very easy to predict spawns on this map. All you have to do is just basically hold middle map, hold the middle map because they're gonna be pushed to the control. If you're if you're on the defense side, try to hold this house down, okay? Hold the house down in order for you to get kill streaks. But once you get kill streaks, you just will have to. Push up a little bit, a little bit, so you guys can get kills because your killstreaks are going to be the ones getting the kills off their spawn. What you guys want to do is just basically get kills once they come, like in the mid middle of the area of the map. You don't even have to worry about them just sitting inside the house because that's why you have the strike team. The strike team are going to go inside the house and clear them out. Basically, that's what it is. That's what I was running. I was running the strike team because I I wanted them to clear them out of the house, and my thresher would just clear them, sweep sweep them off the mid map. Or sometimes off the back spawn, so you know sometimes they be camping in the very far back of the map, and it's pre pretty frustrating once they start camping in the back. So that's why I was running the Thresher and the UAV. Uh, I use it because running solo is a key. If you don't run UAV when you're playing solo, it's very kind of hard to control the map. That's what I'm trying to say. It's very very hard to control the map because you you don't know where everybody's at. So you want to hold on a certain area. So when you have one sweep, you can see enemies running through the mid map or running towards your side. So you know you can be ready for that gunfight. And also, what I was doing, you see me here not trying to push too much. I was in a 20 gun streak. Maybe if I would have just pushed up a little bit, I would have got more kills. But I was trying to play um, kind of careful because I knew if I would have played careful, I would have got more streaks. And the scythe here. Um, I, I, I choked so many kills, you guys. 
just some, I was just dying to some random death. It was crazy. And here I was just popping off with a scythe. It was crazy. And also, try not playing so like, kind of like crazy. Cause if you play too crazy, you're gonna be end up dying like me. And like, probably like more forward to the video. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit so you guys can see um, how fast I was trying to play. And the other kid, the other team was trying to get kill tricks on me. He was trying to win the game. And and some kids on the other team, like I said, they were trying to get kill streaks. They wanted to win the game. But um, I had good teammates. I'm not going to lie. I had good teammates. They were just helping me out a little bit. Um, the way I told them to not capture a flag or a control was I just told them, hey, let's try to get more kills or more XP. That's maybe one reason how to get more kills. If you're playing with, with randoms, you sound like, hey, you just, hey, don't capture the control yet or let's cap this control in order for us to spawn trap and trust me some of them will listen some of them won't some are kind of like i don't know kind of like dummy from the head so sometimes they be like kind of stubborn because they don't want to be getting that type of type of gameplay so here i'm gonna fast forward a little bit for you guys can see and here i get a five man field with the warhog guys see that's what i'm saying guys if you guys rock the warhog it's gonna sweep the whole map it's gonna control the whole map for you so, like I said, just control mid map for Nuketown. If you just control mid, mid, mid map, you just could just pick them off, or sometimes go inside this house, pick pick them off, and don't stay in one area too much. If you stay in one area too much, you're just gonna find yourself in a deep hole where they're gonna keep killing you, killing you, killing you, and you don't want that. You wanna stay as far as possible from the team, from the, your spawn. As long, as long as you have a specialist and you think it's good. Go one be one be against them are cool, but if you're not gonna if you're not sure about the gunfight, stay back, stay back, get your kill streaks, and once you get your kill streaks, you, could, you guys could do whatever you guys want. You guys could do whatever you guys want. You guys could push up every single time if you guys want. But make sure you guys can win that gunfight. If you guys don't challenge to some gunfights, it's gonna be hard for you guys to get some some kills. Hear me? Uh, I was trying to go as 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 possible because I knew I could have got way more kills way more kills and if you guys play in a party that whole mid map and have one guy push inside the house take them off it's easier like that you get more kills believe me even the guys in the mid map will get more kills too because they're gonna, the guys are going to be pushing them out and they're going to think they're going to be free but in reality they're not and also what I found out in control, if you're playing a six man party, you're gonna be fine against tryhards, tryhards, tryhards. So I suggest you guys play like in a three man, four man. Or if you wanna play solo, even get all the kills for yourself. But I suggest you guys play like in a three, four man. If you guys wanna spawn trap. Because I think they fixed the you'll be smash speaking for this. If you guys playing a if you guys playing a six man party, you're gonna be playing against all the tryhards. Believe me, you're gonna be playing all against all the YouTubers. I'm gonna be frustrating. And what else I wanted to talk about? Oh yeah, guys, I wanted to talk about the giveaway I'm gonna do. So stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to do it as soon as possible. I've been busy, busy. I can be. I can. I wasn't able to live stream this weekend to do the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. I, hopefully this weekend I can. I can do it. I've been working a lot, so uh, I've been grinding trying to get that those hours in for me to do the giveaway. So. Here I am, uh, hopefully sometime this week or next week, I'll be able to do it before everybody else goes to school. I'll try to do it like in a Friday night or Saturday night, somewhere around there. So stay tuned for that guys. Don't don't stay, stay tuned for that and don't think like I forgot about the giveaway. So stay tuned. But you guys gotta be hitting that subscribe button. If you guys don't hit that subscribe button or stay active on the channel, it's gonna be hard for you guys to win, even though I'm doing the, the giveaway on the on the live stream. I'm still gonna be picking the people who are very active on the channel. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing doing 10 PSN giveaways, and I I'll, unless you guys want me to do the Modern Warfare and four PSN cards, that's it. Or unless you guys want me to do 10 PSN cards and like that ten dollar PSN card to, every, to ten people ten winners or you want me to just do four giveaways let me let me know down below in the comments let me know what you guys think and I and 
drop a like, drop a sub, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, pull, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Enjoy the video.
Attack deploy beacon online. Enemy UAV above. Requesting UAV. Uh, 